kind of wish I was my mirror in a way. It seems to be getting more bush today than I've had all year. Good morning, you beautiful, beautiful people, you. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Hopefully, you're all having a good day today. Let's just get out of here. So, yeah, how you all doing, all right? I, um, it's been a few weeks since I've last done a vlog because I've been busy. Um, most of you probably already know. I passed my class one test last week, so that's, uh, that's really good. Now, are you gonna wait there? Yeah. Yeah, so pass class one test. One minor, which was a silly minor. Um, at the beginning, they ask you questions to, to do with the lorry and stuff. Um, but he, ask, he asks you two questions, and the first question was, show me how you would um, wash the window using your wipers. So you literally put the wipers on and put the screen wash on simple question like that and then the next question he asked me was um, how would I check that my load was safe and secure um, so I said to him I said um, well you'd, you'd make sure that the load was evenly distributed you would make sure that um, heavy items were at the front of the load uh, or on the bottom with lighter stuff on top I then said you would also make sure that it's all strapped down correctly using the correct strapping material, be it chains or, or ratchet straps. He said, okay, thank you very much. And then I went off for a drive. Um, and when I come back, he told me I got one minor for that question, for the uh, how would I check my load was safe and secure. Um, and he said the only reason I got a minor for that was because I didn't mention anything about weight, which is fair enough. He said, um, you're supposed to check that you're not overweight. So, a bit annoying, because it had I said that one stupid little word, overweight, which I hear all the time, <laughs> then um, I would have got zero minors, but never mind. The driving side of it, the reversing, the uncoupling, and the recoupling was spot on. Didn't get any minors for anything, other than that one little question at the beginning. Let's get out of here. So where does this leave me for the future? Well, I'm really not sure. I would like to drive class one lorries, um, but I kind of like what I'm doing now. If I didn't like what I was doing now, I wouldn't be doing it. So, I mean, I don't know. I do not know what the future holds. Obviously, my current boss has lost the contract with the company I'm working for. Um, so at the end of June, end of next month, I am out of a job with this company. So I need to get another job lined up or they need to hurry up and offer me class one work either way. Um, but yeah, I really don't know what's happening. So literally have to play it by ear for the next week or two, which is really annoying because I like to plan things. I get, I get irritated when I don't know what's happening. I like things to be planned. But yeah, never mind, we'll just have to, we'll have to wait and see. <clears throat> so where are we going today? So uh, we've just left Quicklade and um, we're on our way to Patchway in Bristol. So we're coming down the, the B4040, going to be going through Malmesbury. Is it Malmesbury? Yeah, Malmesbury. I get Malmesbury and Marlborough mixed up. It's Malmesbury. Going to be going through Malmesbury um, onto the M4 Junction 17 and go up to... Uh, to Bristol. Might stop off at the services on the way though because I've got no food or drink and there's no petrol stations on the way. Actually there is one petrol station, I might be able to get there. Might get some food and drink from the petrol station in Malmesbury. <coughs> so yeah, yeah, we're going to Patchway in Bristol and then we've got to go to Bristol Quarry, uh, go to some place called uh, Sand Sandford and then go back to the Bristol Quarry and then come back to Swindon. So that's the day planned. That is the day, that is what's planned, and uh, yeah, 
So let's crack on and uh, next time you see me, we'll uh, hopefully be about to tip this load I got on now. Right, so we are on site. It took quite a while to um, to get here actually because we were given the wrong postcode. It took us to the right place but the wrong area. Um, basically, those flats in front of you that you see, we were on the other side of those flats. Uh, and unfortunately, to get here where we are now, it was a two mile round trip to get here. Fucking mad. They've only got bus routes and pedestrian walkways in between here and that building there. But uh, we're here now, we're tipping. Might be here a while as well because they said something about waiting for a third lorry to turn up before they let me go. And actually we might be heading back over there to do some more tarmacking, possibly. But, um, but yeah, it's quarter past 10 now. I'm supposed to be in Bristol for my next load right now, but obviously I'm not. I've already called them up and made them aware that I'm running at least an hour late. But um, it is what it is. Oh, with a bit of luck, actually, I'll get rid of all my load here. I'm hoping. We're, we're with a company called Rockstone. Uh, they're normally pretty good. They're, they're all right as well today. Like I've said before, you get to know the gangs. So um, when you walk up, you can have a laugh with them, carry on conversations that you had last month. <laughs> and these lot are based in Swindon anyway, where we're from, so we know them quite well. Uh, seven ten left. We're going quite slow, which means that could come down seven and a half turn. Seven and a half ton of tarmac to use just from here to there. Right. right, we're now on we're on our way to the other side of the site which I mentioned. Fuck knows where it's going now. Where are you going? Looks like he's indicating to go right. That van slash car deciding to push in, fuck things up a little bit. Yeah, we're going to the other site now. But uh, don't know where it is exactly we're going or for how long. There is a main road coming up though, so it can't be far away. The old wheel spinach over there. The rest of the convoy. I don't know if I'm going down here or not. Very, very fucking tight. made it. These are tight turns.
I mean, I am going to need a shunt. Rubbish, rubbish turning circles. Sometimes we have to do this without an escort. Right now I'm just following it in. So I know I'm going to the right place. But sometimes you've got to do all this by yourself. And you don't know if you're in the right place or not. Until it's too late. All right. Wants me to pull up here. Trouble is, I don't know whether the other lorry will be able to get down. Well, you definitely won't be able to get down. Just gonna clean that window a sec, because it's very, uh, wet from the rainwater and I can't see very well. I wouldn't say that's made it any better to be honest. I'm just gonna go a bit further get completely out of the way. At least the lorry will be able to overtake me as well. Right, so hopefully we get tipsy and we can crack on to Bristol. Right, let's put you on. Ooh, a bit hot and tired now. Just finished tipping. And uh, I had quite a bit stuck at the top, so I had to uh, get in and tidy it all up. And it's raining outside, so got a bit wet. Right, we've got to try and get out of here now. I don't actually know how you get out. Why do I feel like I've forgotten something? Phones, phones. Got everything as far as I'm aware. Right, so we come from the other side of that gate. I don't know how you get out of here. Um, I reckon. I don't know. I really don't know. I'll do a second shunt on this turn again. Is it where that sweeper is? It says way out. Bit more wheel spinach. Come on. I reckon it's out there. I'll ask. Is that the way out? Is that the way out? Yeah, cheers, bud. Right. Oh, yeah, I see now. On the twat nav, it's taking us to the roundabout. Oh, that's nice. Get a bit of breeze. Right, so we are now on our way to Bristol Quarry, otherwise known as Stankham. And um, we were supposed to be there, I think, for quarter past 10. It's 12 o'clock now, so. <laughs> a little bit behind schedule. And I've got to get half an hour break in here at some point.
please don't tell me you're unloading there. Okay, this is the way out, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah, out there. Three hours down here. Cheers, mate. So fucking them up a little bit. Ugh. Bump it, bump it, bump it. It's a rather concealed entrance. Footpaths are empty. Wheel spinach. Come on. There we go. Right, so now we're on the road. Oh, they fucking eating's on. I wonder what more. Uh, what lane do we want to be in? Straight on. Right, so yeah, we are we're on our way to Bristol now. Gonna be there in about 30 minutes. So not too long. And then we've got to go somewhere called Sandford. Which apparently is only about 11 miles away from the quarry. Turn my beacons off. Then I've got to go back to the quarry, get loaded with some stone, and take that back to Swindon. Oh, a bit of wheel spin around there. So, uh, got to get a move on really, because I've got to have half an hour break as well before I get back. I'm on two hours driving, which is uh, not an awful lot, I know, but time I get to Bristol, do the run, go back to Bristol, and go back to the yard, uh, back to the where we're delivering. If I'm not careful, I'll run out of hours before I get back home. That looks like a massive car park they're building in there. Right, so yeah, we're um, on our way there. I shall see you when we're leaving the quarry. Right, we're just leaving the quarry now. Half an hour drive to go to where we need to get to. Uh, 12 miles away. And then we've got to come straight back so we can do a return load back to Swindon. We've still got to get half an hour break in as well. So I'll be looking to get that in as soon as possible. Come on then. Thank you. Yeah, I'm carrying a 6F5, which is basically rocks, big rocks. Got 19.9 a ton of it. Right, can I get out of here straight away? Oh, yeah. Nothing coming. Lovely jubbly. Sometimes you can be waiting at that junction for ages. Especially if you want to turn right to go back home like a will after later. Right, let's get cracker back in. Hopefully we will be on site soon, hopefully. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are just around the corner apparently. I think it's somewhere on the right hand side, I'm not sure. But we'll find out. We're only half a mile away. The railway in. What is the name of the site? Kia site. K I E R. Kia. K I E R. <sighs> I've been told it's on the right and I can't miss it. Those red signs are good. Caution site entrance. Site access, there we go. So it's on the right here. Lovely a jubbly. Just gonna find out where he wants it. 
it's all by himself, look. One there. Just next to that. Well, I was told it was going to be a straight tip, and my God, it is. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, that's nice and easy, this one. My these cables. I think he's clearing my hooks for me. Well done. Mm, not gonna risk it, just gonna double check the actual uh, fucking back door shut, one sec. Right, that's all done. <coughs> Excellente. Right, I'm still on a private road here, so I am allowed to use my sat nav. Uh, recent destination, Stankham. Yes. Now I can see me doing a bit of wheel spin out of here. Not that I want to. Oh, there we go. Because because it's only stone, too much fucking throttle, and you're going to start ripping the stone up. Right. Oh, that's, that was lovely. That was. Oh, and it's nice to be empty as well. Oh. 30 down here, so I better slow down. So yeah, it's lovely being empty. You can sort of, the acceleration on these tippers when they're empty are amazing. Um, I don't know about anybody else's, but this particular tipper is 400 horsepower. And uh, class one vehicles like start at 440 so I mean it's quite powerful for a class 2 as far as I'm aware I think you do get the odd 450 but um, yeah 400 horsepower when I'm empty I can fucking fly a bills right so we better start going down some of these tight roads again I kind of wish I was my mirror in a way it seems to be getting more bush today than I've had all year some stuck out on it now Right, next time I see you, we will be on our way to Swindon. Right, there was an ever so slight change of plan. Um, I did come back to Bristol Quarry in the end, I'm just leaving the quarry now. Uh, and I am getting the load back, but it's not going to where um, I thought I was going to go. There was a run supposed to go to where I thought I was going to go, but it turns out 
they've gone home early because it's too wet. <laughs> so, yeah, it's too wet for them to work, so they don't want the material. It's fucking stone. Never mind. Um, so, yeah, we've got a return load back to um, our quick laid plan. Which is good because now we're, now I'm going straight back to the yard basically because our, our my yard is right opposite the quickly plant. So that's all good. <clears throat> um, I still need to get half an hour lunch in. That's the only downside. ETA is uh, half past three at quick laid, but I still got to get half an hour break in. So that's four o'clock pretty much by the time I'm going to be finished. But there's an ever so slight chance that I could get there before I run out of driving time. I've only got an hour's worth of drive time left. And it takes about an hour to get there. So if I have a bit of good luck on the roads and I get to quick laid within my hour drive time, then um, I can quickly pop across the road before my driving time runs out and take my tackle card out. And go home. I'll have to wait and see. I'll have to wait and see. But yeah, no, unfortunately, that's it for today. That's uh, it for the video, because I can't film when I get there, because I'm back in one of their sites that I work for, so I can't film on site, unfortunately. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for commenting and subscribing and liking. Thank you for being awesome. Uh, until next time, drive safe. I've been Luke. See you soon. Bye-bye.